Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. Canonical released Ubuntu 22.04, which is a long-term support edition. And they also released it for the Raspberry Pi 4. So you can download the Raspberry Pi edition as you can see, 22.04 from their website. And that's what I did. And I installed it on a micro SD card. It's using Wayland. And well, I'm not really sure if it's just the general Ubuntu release or that. Wayland is also playing a factor in this, but I don't recommend installing Ubuntu on your Raspberry Pi. Um, it doesn't feel smooth. When you start stressing the CPU, then your mouse pointer can also freeze and everything really slows down. Um, of course, I know that the Raspberry Pi is not like a very powerful uh, little computer, but it well would be sort of like comparable to my Pinebook Pro. And to be honest, my Pinebook Pro with Manjaro that feels much smoother than Ubuntu 22.04 on a Raspberry Pi. So when we look a bit further, then you can see it has kernel 5.15. And I also overclocked a little bit. So here you can see that the max frequency is 2 gigahertz. And the way you can do that is by changing the config.txt in boot firmware. So what I did was just add these three lines. Over voltage is 6, ARM frequency is 2000 and GPU frequency is 600. Now it's only uh, recommended to overclock when you have like proper cooling like active cooling with a fan or like I have um, passive cooling with the flurk case so when you have just the bare board then it's not recommended to overclock and so when you have added these lines then you can just save it and reboot and then it should be active. So just a little test. The WebGL Aquarium. So with 500 fishes in Chromium. Once everything is loaded, then it's around 13 frames per second. Well, to be honest, uh, I don't think Ubuntu will stay long on my Raspberry Pi. And probably the next one that I'm going to test is going to be Pop OS because Pop OS 22.04 it's going to be released uh, this Monday but the Pi 4 release it will come a bit later but yeah my guess is that is just a matter of weeks and not a matter of months so this is just 
a short video on Ubuntu 22.04 on the Raspberry Pi. Like I said before, I uh, can't recommend Ubuntu on the Raspberry Pi. I think it still needs uh, a lot of optimizations to make things smoother. But who knows what will happen in the future. So that's all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video.